Well, it's time for the Texas Bucket List Bite of the Week, and this week we're in Waco for some soul food from a southern eatery we think is called Sassy's. A few blocks from the sought-after silos in Waco, you'll find a southern eatery with all kinds of home-cooked goodness. Marsha Neal is the creator, owner, and the person who has this particular nickname. It's Sassy, and I have another, just so in case you can't pronounce it, I got it in the window. Oh, there you go. Uh, that, it's just spelled different. Uh, my mom nicknamed me that when I was like a few hours old. So it came out that way. Yeah, so how about that? I'm glad you embraced your Sassy nickname. Yes, sir. <laughs> Sassy used to work a regular eight to five as an events coordinator with Texas State Technical College. But when she started to bring home-cooked meals to share with some of her students at school, things started to change. They act like it was so good. That inspired Marsha to start a little catering business on the side. I went from catering um, once every six months to once a month to every weekend. So they started saying, can you do my lunch on Wednesday? I was like, I got a job. Marsha decided to take the plunge. She went back to school to get her business management degree, and with the help of her husband, John, the couple found the strength to start Sassy's. It's just phenomenal to see anybody grow like that in your own city, in your home grown. I think it means everything. It's just good. It's just good to have the food. People kept coaching me and encouraging me. I found this little spot, and uh, when I first looked at it, I was like, oh, they was like, well, you're still kind of close to Magnolia. And I was like, oh, let's try it. Together, they have created an incredible place for Southern food. And Sassy seems to always get the last say. Sometimes, you know, I'd be like, no, I think we should do this. He's like, no, I think we should do it that way. And, you know, he's like, oh, OK. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> you know? Because it takes a team to create the amazing flavors you'll find here. People from the South can come in here and get some butter beans and cornbread and be cool. Like this is what I, you know, I'm from Hubbard. And this is what I, black eyed peas and okra? What? I be trying to come up here every day if I ain't good. It's just good food. I come here any day and have a good time. The art of cooking this kind of food is kind of going away almost. That's what I'm saying. I, and I feel that. But so, then they tell me that when they come in, they're like, I ain't had this kind of food in a long time. It sure feels good. Before we binged out at the buffet, we headed to the back to see what goes into this sort of sizzling, steaming, and frying. That's when I met the colossal cook named Popo. I think Popo's better than Sassy. Well, you yeah, definitely. You have to <laughs> Popo has a pedigree when it comes to this particular kind of cooking. You raise like this. That's what it's all about. You know, it's more food of the soul, food of the spirit, so that's why, you know, it's always great. Collard greens, squash, and sweet potatoes are some of the staples here. We try to have the same good stuff every day. That way we don't have to worry about who walks in. Looking at you and myself, <laughs> sometimes we might want to try it out. You yes, know what I mean? So that's the way that is. Yes, sir. Oh, well, you got the chicken fried up right now, huh? Yes, sir. Uh, what's the secret to cooking up a good fried chicken? Man, you've heard this all your life. If I tell you all that, then you're not going to be able to leave. <laughs> we fry it up golden brown, and we use our special seasoning that we mix. We sprinkle it on, and they love it. Key to make an oxtail? Knowing what you're doing. The smell from the kitchen had me ready to run to the front of the line. All right, Papa, we're ready to go eat. All right, man. Appreciate hey. your suggestions. All right. Look Try it. everything if you can. Yes, sir. Well, all right. You ready, Shane? Yes, ma'am. Do you like right. collard greens or cabbage? Uh, I got a pick? No, just kidding. <laughs> we'll do collard greens. We'll give that a try. All right. Squash or black eyed peas? Yeah, let me do squash. Hurt. Well, you know I got to do sweet potatoes here. I already know, baby. Oh, yeah. Those sweet potatoes look like candy. What you say? That's what they tell me. <laughs> you want our fried chicken, right? Fried chicken. When Popo made that stuff, it looked amazing. You want to try oxtail? Yes. Bring on the oxtail. And we're going to do the pork steak. OK. Awesome. Thank you, ma'am. Just wherever you like. Appreciate it. You bet. Let's get sassy. So we'll start with the sensational amount of sides here at Sassy's, and we're going to go for the collard greens, the calling card of this place. Oh, that's good. The turkey broth blends perfectly with those collard greens, and that creates some magic right there. Those are awesome. Melts in your mouth. And then there's the sweet potatoes. They smell amazing. You get that vanilla and the sweetness coming off them, which makes you think I should save this for dessert, but we're not going to do that. These are literally some of the best sweet potatoes I've ever had. 
<laughs> Six meats. We had to choose three. We started with the pork steak. This is amazing. On to the famous fried chicken. Oh, that's good. A nice little light layer of frying on there with just subtle, subtle seasoning. It's like a different seasoning. I love the seasoning. And now finally, an oxtail. A first. Never had one of these before. Just amazing home cooked flavor. It's wonderful. Well, if you ever need some Southern food that will fill your soul, coming to Sassy's and getting a little sassy at the Southern Eatery is well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. So they can get some down home cooking soul food to know what is soul food really is. You won't be disappointed. We put a lot of work into it, a lot of love into it, you know, so that's a good feeling. A lot of people say, look, see the bucket list, we made it. You know what I mean? So thank God for that. You need to come in and try sassies at your own risk. You gotta always come back. <laughs>